Republicans are shaking off the presidential defeat, trying to decide what to do next for their party. Some have talked about a looming civil war, particularly with members of the Tea Party. Jenny Beth Martin, who's the national coordinator of the Tea Party Patriots, said this on Tuesday. We wanted a fighter like Ronald Reagan. What we got was a weak, moderate candidate handpicked by the Beltway elites and country club establishment wing of the Republican Party. The presidential loss is unequivocally on them, with a catastrophic loss of the Republican elite's handpicked candidate the Tea Party is the last best hope America has to restore America's founding principles. Kelly Carinder is a national coordinator for that group, and she was one of the very first people to organize a Tea Party protest. She joins us this morning. It's nice to have you. Thank you for talking with us. So why do you Thanks think... Thanks for having me. Pleasure. Why do you think Mitt Romney lost the election, if you had to, you know, list it in a nutshell? In a nutshell, the Republicans sat on their hands for four years, uh, after 2008, you had Barack Obama who, and, the, and the Democrats who left paid staffers in critical swing states and offices open, and they were working to identify new voters. I think I heard it was 1.8 million new registered voters, likely Obama voters, that they managed to register in the four years in between the two elections. And I don't know what the Republican Party was doing. The Tea Party was just getting started. So I'd say on one point, they failed to do the part that the Democrats were doing for the last four years in campaigning. Sounds and like just you're building saying their network and sounds like you're saying that's what people would say to describe a ground game. When you have a good ground game, you're sort of doing all those right. things on the ground to organize voters. Do you agree with what um, uh, Jenny Beth Martin said, which was her, her feeling was, listen, the problem was actually in the candidate. And the bigger problem was that the candidate was a, a moderate who was saying that he was a, a conservative. Do you agree with that? Yeah, that's the second part of the equation. And that is that we had a candidate who was forced to leave the biggest issue of this election, which was Obamacare, on the table because he had Romney care to deal with. And if we had been able to, as the center-right coalition, if the candidate had been able to take Barack Obama to task for one of the most unpopular laws this country has ever passed, then I believe that we could have been successful in ousting President Obama. Steve uh, LaTourette uh, said that he disagreed. We talked to him yesterday, and when I asked him if, in fact, the problem was the, the, the conservatism of uh, Mitt Romney, he said that the Tea Party's position on this was wrong. He actually said, crap, um, but here, I'll play what he said. There's a one-word phrase we use in Ohio for that, crap. I mean, <laughs> that's nonsense. And, and, you know, if you look at what happened, we lost Charlie Bass and, and Frank Ginta in New Hampshire. The Republican Party cannot be a national party if we give up the entire East Coast of the United States and say that there aren't any, we don't have any Republicans in New England. We don't have any Republicans in the Middle Atlantic states. Uh, we can't continue to diss the Latino voters. And, you know, my wife's a Democrat and she was so close to voting. Uh, for Mitt Romney, but then, you know, Murdoch and Aiken open their mouth and we send them squeak, you know, running back to the Democratic Party because they think we're nutty. Do you think, um, Kelly, that there is this, this civil war that some people have talked about, that there is no room in the party for both moderates and, and Tea Party members, like you can't all fit under the same umbrella? Well, remember, the Tea Party is about fiscal responsibility, constitutionally limited government and free markets. We don't take on social issues, so that's not under our umbrella. And the majority of Americans agree with us on the issues. They think that government's too big. They think government does too much. They think government spends too much. They think the deficit is a result of too much spending instead of not enough taxation. But, and but, so we are the center of America. But people also want people to figure it out. I mean, you, you know, anecdotally, and then also if you look at various polls from across the last year, people want their elected officials to go and work it out, not just to go to Congress and argue with each other. We need to have some kind of progress. Does the Tea Party, in a way, stand in the way? Are, are, are you guys obstructionists, stand in the way Absolutely of some kind not. of compromise? No, there's two things going on here. One, the, the voters sent a Republican Congress back. So they obviously do not want an unfettered second term of Obama. The second thing is when you're driving off of a fiscal cliff, you're what, if you're going to go halfway off the cliff, you're still going to fall off the cliff. The point is we have to stand for mm -hmm. what's right. And we have to make sure that this country does not go off of a fiscal cliff. So what does that we mean? We cannot spend more than we take in. But what, for the We cannot cliff. have governments... Right, so let's talk about the fiscal cliff for a moment because I'm trying to understand then what your position would be. It looks like uh, it's been described as 
some of the things that, that John Boehner has said. It looks like there might be a, a window, a, a window of compromise in terms of closing some loopholes which would really raise tax revenue. Do you see that as a compromise that, that Tea Partiers would be comfortable with? Tea Partiers are absolutely comfortable with flattening and simplifying the tax code. We for years have been saying it's too complicated, it's too big, there's too much room for social engineering and allowing politicians to determine our behaviors based on our tax code. The tax code was What's never meant mean, to engineer? engineer our behavior. I'm sorry, you're lost. Well, me think there. about it. It gives you it, think about it, it gives you certain breaks for acting in certain ways and taxes you if you act in other ways. And it shouldn't be about that. The tax code should be about raising revenue to pay for government services and infrastructure, and that's it. And there's too much social engineering within the tax code. So yes, absolutely, simplifying and broadening the tax code would be something that Tea Partiers could get behind. Obviously, the devil's in the details, so we'd have to look at that. But generally speaking, yes. Kelly Carinder is a national coordinator for Tea Party Patriots. Thank you for joining us this morning. We appreciate your time. Thank you very much. That